Very good morning to all. Alhamdulillah. Assalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma'ba. I am happy to have this occasion with you for providing a message of Ramzan to the students of Crescent Public School, Tanalo. Respected management, respected principal, teachers and non-teaching staff. It is highly delightful to say that our school is reaching to the top in quality education by providing child-centric learning learning strategy based on artificial intelligence and chances for acquiring three languages with fluency on the completion of secondary education. That is, on the completion of secondary education, people will get, students will get high fluency in Arabic, English and Hindi. That is one of our strategies. Along with the dedicated teachers and principal, this institution imparts higher level of spiritual atmosphere under the supervision and guidance of Tanalur Abdul Muslia, who is the member of Kendra Mushawara Samstha Kerala Jemiya Tulilama. Before coming to the message of Ramzan, for the general awareness, it is better to discuss what is Ramzan. Virtually, it is the name of the ninth month in the lunar era. Just as we see January, February, March, etc. in English era, Chingam, Kaini, Tulam, etc. in Malayalam era, we may use Muharram, Safar, Rabiu level, etc. up to Gulhex in lunar era. The ninth month of the lunar era is Ramzan. During the entire days of entire days in the month of Ramzan, people will have to take fasting. That is one month fasting. This fasting is the fourth pillar of Islamic philosophy. We know that Islam has been built upon five pillars. First one is the Kalimat Shahada, the belief in Almighty Allah, the oneness of Allah. Ashhadullah ilaha illallah wa ashhadunna Muhammadar Rasulullah. The second pillar is our namaz. Five times a day we take our prayers. The third pillar is distribution of zakat, arms distribution, distribution to selected eight groups of poor and very poor people in the community. And the fourth pillar is fasting in Ramzan. Fifth pillar is the had to pilgrimage to be performed in Mecca in the month of Dulhaj. Out of these five pillars, fasting in Ramzan is the fourth pillar. During the 30 days or 29 days of Ramzan, basically 
as a part of fasting people will have to abstain from drinking and eating and such other things during the day time from shortly before sunrise to shortly after sunset that is dawn to dusk but it is the general notion that fasting in islam is merely abstaining from drinking eating etc in the day time but the fulfillment of the real sense of fasting and the variety of fasting depends on various other factors there is fasting to one's eye there is fasting to one's mouth there is fasting to one's ear there is fasting even to one's mind it means that our eye eyes our ears our minds all th- these things should participate in the fulfillment of fasting it means that forbidden things should not be seen this is the fasting of our eye forbidden things should not be talked of this is the fasting of our tongue mouth forbidden things should not be heard this is the fasting of our ear forbidden things should not be thought of this is the fasting of our mind that means ender body will have to participate for their fulfillment of the real sense of fasting just as prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said how many people are there in fasting but what is remains with them is only hunger and thirst if they are not keeping away the foul talk the foul deeds and foul thought this means that foul thought foul deeds and foul talks etc should be avoided then only there is the meaning of abstaining from drinking and eating etc in connection with the fulfillment of the fasting however 14 or 15 hours complete starvation due to fasting should become a training inculcating the spirit of real sacrifice it should help him to know the real taste of hunger of the poor sections of the society the fulfillment of fasting is possible only by one of the most important function to be performed on the eve of eid al fitr eid al fitr is the celebration after the completion of one month fasting that is the distribution of zakat al fitr zakat al fitr is a compulsory contribution to be distributed in rice or wheat etc among the eight groups of poor and very poor people that is 200 kilograms of rice or wheat multiplied by members of the family that is the total quantity each family will have to distribute now come to the message of ransan we have to say that the message of ransan is included in the inner purpose of ramzan fasting itself the inner purpose of ramzan according to the words of almighty allah is la allakum tattaqun ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum siyamu kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la allakum tattaqun la allak la allakum tattaqun this is the purpose of our fasting tattaqun means The, you you should be the owners of taqwa taqwa simply means obeying the commands of almighty allah 
and refrain from all sinful things, all forbidden things. Scholars explained this under three heads. One is, Takwa is explained under three heads by the scholars. First one is, the basic idea of Takwa is belief in Almighty Allah. Second one is, our thoughts, our deeds, our talks, etc. should be good enough to control and protect against the bad evil things. Third one is very important, that is, we should be mercy upon all creatures. In this sense, the famous saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is vivid and clear here. Irhamu man fil arli, irhamukullahu man fil sama. Be mercy on the entire mankind, entire creatures, all living things. Then only Almighty Allah and His angels will be mercy upon you. Irrespective of caste, creed and color, we should help others. Only if we, we provide mercy upon them, Allah and His angels will be giving mercy upon us. This is the message of Ramsana I am to give. That is, Irhamu manfillarli, Irhamukumullahu manfisma. Be mercy on the entire living and even say non-living things. Then only we can expect mercy from the Almighty Allah and His angels. Now I would like to conclude my speech by reciting two lines from the famous Qasidatul Burda. Ya Rabbi Bil Mustafa, Balir Makasitana, Pafulla Nama Mala, Yawasi El Karami. Okay, thank you very much. Salam alaikum.